Hello folks, <clears throat> this is Sharon Narain and I'm coming to you here from the beautiful Sunshine State. And uh, folks, <clears throat> I just want to give uh, an update about my husband. What had happened is that he was feeling some tightness in his chest and of course, you know, I don't want to take a chance with that. That's what had happened in the first place when he went in, he was in the ER. And what had happened that day, the day before, he went to his primary care doctor and they had changed some medication out on him. They changed two meds. And I don't think the meds did not work with him properly, like cholesterol pill, I believe, and also the, um, the high blood pressure. Um, <clears throat> so one did not work with the other. So he had a tightness of chest. Took him in, in the ER, everything went well, they stabilized everything. Um, and folks, here's the thing, and I don't understand this. They do not give you any meds, like, from what you have. They give you their own meds in the hospital, which I don't understand, which is good or which is bad. At any rate, he felt, you know, good, came back home until he's not, you know, we went to church on Sunday. Then last Sunday, then he didn't feel well again. So I watched him until Monday. Um, and that's when I took him back in for the tightness again in the chest. And the stupid pill, I'm going to just, you know, throw it out. And it's the same thing all over again. But now here it is. Yesterday, he was supposed to get out from the hospital. I, you know, I was there. Stayed with him all night. And folks, I, you can hear it in my voice. I am so exhausted. I am very tired. And um, now what had happened, he had developed a flu now in the hospital because, you know, in the emergency room, everybody is coughing, cock, cock, cock. I mean, I, I, oh my God, ridiculous. People throwing up and all these people that come from up north, you know, the cold places, I mean, they bring all their disease down here. Um, so now he's battling now with flu, A1 flu. Can you believe it? Huh. <laughs> A1 flu in the hospital. It is so darn ridiculous. So now they have to put a nebulizer on him. They have to give him medication because he was like coughing like crazy. His um, lungs is so in inflamed um, by coughing and coughing. And that's what kind of make his chest hurts and all that. So folks, please, I do need to get, do need uh, prayers. <laughs> Pray for him. Pray for me because I am so exhausted. I I really am. I mean, all my business, everything that I had, my plans and everything is like, everything is screwed up. Screwed up. Because I'm sick and tired of this devil, you know, playing games with us. I mean, you know, from my father passed away. My mother had a stroke prior to that. Daddy passed away. Then my sister and I passed away with, you know, with uh, stage 4 cancer. And then this you know, thought we're going to get past all of this, trying to be there for my brother and my nephew. And now, I mean, folks, I don't know how much more I can deal with. My life is being shared all the way around. It's like I am a full-time caregiver. I'm being there for everybody. But folks, I am so, so tired. I'm tired about this. So I'm, I, I came home here to, uh, you know, to, <clears throat> to freshen up a little bit, to take care of home course you know i have mom here i do get an aid to help out but folks it is not easy i'm here now the aid is gone so my husband's status is that now he's battling with this flu went to the hospital to get you know to feel well with one thing and getting another thing in the hospital so folks i am so sick of this <laughs> all right so Peace out, folks. Thank you so much uh, for all your prayers, your continued prayers. Please, I do need that. I mean, I don't know what I can do without you guys. My Facebook folks, uh, family, Twitter, Instagram, all over the place. I mean, please. Do remember Sharon Narain and her husband in prayer. Peace out, guys. But you know what? I'm not giving up. God is so good. And I feel so overwhelmed with all of this. Because you know what? I am just a human. So peace. Peace. Folks, take care of yourself. Do what you gotta do. I mean, ah.
what else can I say? You know what? Definitely uh, check me out. I do have a couple of uh, the direct mailing club. I'm not getting to do anything at all because of all of this. I tried to stuff some envelopes and uh, it just sits there. I couldn't get to mail it out. The mailman already gone and I don't feel like I want to go to the post office. So I am going to end this here just to let you know, give you an update that my husband is doing well. Other than now, he picked up another stupid flu in the hospital and battling with that, and they're treating him for that. So until that is being taken care of, I do not have a husband to come home. So hopefully tomorrow, please, I will be heading out there soon. It's less than five minutes away, not even quite. The hospital is right there. So, I mean, I can stand, you know, my front door and I can holler for him. Honey, put your clothes on. Get the hell out of there. Come on home. My bed is lonely. I miss you. <laughs> so, folks, this is your girl here. I am being honest, being very truthful. I am exhausted. I feel like I can go take a sleep for six months. And it's not funny seeing all these people them coughing and throwing up and sick. Oh, jeez. Yuck. At any rate, peace out, folks. Sharon the Rain. Check me out. Fast cash with Sharon.com. Create wealth with Sharon.com. My impact mailing club. Aye. And thanks to Rose. I mean, she's an amazing lady. She reached out to me. She wanted to come, but ah, uh, yes, she will. We'll have to get together. Peace out. Take care, Sharon the Rain. Bye for now.